Nice badge. Keep an eye on the elevator. I'm I'm gonna go wait for forensics. Okay. Let me know when oh, they get here. Excuse me. Message from the sheriff. Prince asked more for five reports. If I can't bring back their author. I must bring back the reports at least. I'll know them when I see them. Special Agent Smith. The FBI! Finally, some backup! Lieutenant's expecting you. Straight ahead. Watch out for the bloodstains. Forensics hasn't been through here yet. Got it. Lieutenant Anderson, I'm in charge of the investigation. Special Agent Smith, FBI. Really? Smith? Is that some kind of joke? No, why? I, let it go. Never mind. I'll give you the DL. We got a call from the caretaker around 2.15. He told us that one of his residents was brought in with an injury carried by his bodyguards. We sent a squad car that got here around 2.45. Is the caretaker still here? He's in the living room. But I don't think you'll be able to get anything useful out of him. Poor guy's in shock. Okay, then what? When they stepped inside, the guys came face to face with that. Do we know who the victim is? Yeah, he had his ID on him. It's the owner, a guy named Jason Moore. I don't know who this guy pissed off, but things didn't work out too well for him. Did you secure all the exits and entrances to the building? Yes, we've got men on the ground floor and in the parking garage. How do you get to the parking garage? You'll have to ask the caretaker. He's the one who took my men down there. Go on. We're still looking through the head. We're waiting on forensics for everything else, but they're busy with another case. So, you're here to take over the case? No, no. I'm working on something else. Moore's name popped up in one of our investigations, but I can't talk about it. Okay, I'll let my team know. Agent Smith from the FBI is here. There's a retainer here somewhere. Moore's driver's license. Hmm. The apartment has changed since my last visit. <laughs> Mr. Adams? No. This can't be happening. What a nightmare. So much blood. I've got a few questions. I tried to help him. I told him we should call 911. I told him. Sir, listen to me. It's all right. Calm down. You're safe and you did the right thing. I did the right thing. I need you to answer a few questions for me. I, I... <sighs> yes, of course. What do you want to know?
The lieutenant told me there was an access to the basement. <sighs> yes. Uh, using the service elevator th through the kitchen. <sighs> you need a magnetic pass t to use it. I gave the spare to your colleagues who wanted to go down there. I still have the original. Do you want it? Please. Thank you for your statement. You have to find out who did this, officer. Justice needs to be done for him. <laughs> and for his family. And we need to find out who's messing with us. That's what we're here for. You can count on us. Stick around in case we have more questions. Come on. It'll pass. Don't worry. Cards, please. I'll run the... Hey, mister. You can't go into the parking garage. It's a crime scene. Agent Smith, FBI. Oh, hi. Officer Norton. Hey, they didn't tell me you were coming down. Got something? Wyatt saw more leave at 225. Wyatt? The parking attendant. Pot security guard, pot valet. Anyway, a car that belonged to the victim left in a hurry. Or at least he thought it was more until he found out he got his head cut off. There's skid marks on the ground and uh, signs of a minor accident at the exit. He must have really been in a hurry. Well, I've got a few questions. Where's the witness? Wyatt, he's uh, in the security booth over there. He's super nice. I don't think you'll need to question him again. Let me know if you have uh, any other questions. Hello, Mr. Bazori. You must be mistaken. I'm Smith, Agent Smith. Yeah. Sure. Do I know you? Everyone knows who you are. Is it just me, or are you pals with all the cops around here? Let's just say I'm pretty... intuitive. You know what I mean. In the years you've been hunting us, you've acquired a hell of a reputation among our kind. I didn't know you would come. I'm not looking for any trouble. I, I... I didn't do anything wrong. I... Just who the hell are you? Me? I, I'm nobody. The name's Wyatt Alvarez. I was embraced five years ago. Mm. A thin blood. I spent years hunting them when Quentin King ruled Boston. Unfortunately for me, the blood of my sire was already weak. So I can still catch glimpses of the sun, but I don't have actual powers. Are you involved in what happened up there? Not at all. I swear, I've got a sweet job here. I'd never risk it. That'll be all for now. At your service, Mr. Bazori. Even 
access to the trash is restricted here. Did you want something else? How do you open the dumpsters in the garbage room? What dumpster? The dump... <laughs> Are you toying with me? No, but the cops already looked. There's nothing there. Open it. Mr. Bazzori, I promise you won't find anything there. And I can't open it anyway. It's for staff only. Why do you want to go through the trash anyway? You sure you want to piss me off, Wyatt? No, no, no. Of course not, Mr. Missouri. That's not at all what I wanted to do. Listen. We're just gonna forget this conversation ever happened, and... Excuse me? You didn't just try to corrupt my memories, did you? Oh, no! Uh, I, I'm so sorry, Mr. Missouri. I shouldn't have. I know. How can I make it up to you? Before I get really angry, do you want to tell me what the hell is going on? I'm scared, Mr. Bazori. Scared of what you're gonna think when you see what I've been doing in there. I didn't mean any disrespect. You're not doing a very good job. Get a grip, man. Yes. Yes, Mr. Bazori. Open it now. Just promise me you won't touch anything. Some of my stuff is in there. Please, don't touch it. I've been sent by the Prince of Boston. Do you really think I owe you anything? That's not what I meant. You talk too much. Open the door. Right away. All right, it's open. Wouldn't you rather tell me what you're hiding in there? Well, I cook a little. A guy's gotta survive. I don't have to tell you that. I don't make a whole lot of money here. What do you cook? Oh. A little of everything. But I've got all my stuff in there. And there's some pretty rare ingredients. Rare? Yeah. And kinda illegal, too. Such as? In some recipes, well... I use vials of Kindred's blood, for instance. Whose blood? Well, it depends on what I can find. Okay, but what have you got right now, exactly? If I tell you, can it stay just between us? You're not fucking going to start again. Okay. O okay, I, I managed to obtain some of Quentin King's blood. But of course... This guy's the perfect patsy. I almost pity him. Hmm. King answered the beckoning at the same time as the rest of the city's elders. It can't be his blood. One more thing, boss. Don't call me that. I hope we'll meet again, Mr. Missouri. Ugh, 
packaging to be recycled. <sighs> Nothing. Expecting to see you here. Woo. If it was a bodyguard who died in the lobby, where the hell is more? Nothing of interest. Nothing. Why, it's makeshift lab. And it's not meth. Rusty cans. Who would want to take that? Empty soda cans. Old chicken feet. A shoe with worn out leather. I wonder what he's cooking with that garbage. Rusty cans. Garbage. Nothing of interest. How can I help you, Agent Smith? I went through your trash. So? Are you interested in one of my ingredients? That's not really what I've got a problem with. What? You didn't tell me about the man's head in a plastic bag. W what But what the hell? Is it more? No. That head belonged to one of his bodyguards. I... But... It wasn't me, Mr. Missouri. I swear. I don't know anything about it. Okay, I believe you. I found your cook shop. You didn't touch anything, I hope. I take what I want. Yeah, yeah. Of course. It's just that... It's taken me years to find some of those things. <laughs> so what? No, no, it's nothing. I hope you found what you were looking for. Happy to help. Son of a bitch wasn't messing around. This is where I met Moore for the first time. Human logic is beyond me. What's the point in doing that? A souvenir from the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Mm. 
Lydia and June at the beach. Hmm, a safe. Now we just have to find the code. Auction. Acquisition of Lot 87. Dejan Siaka. Hmm. A trumpet belonging to Don Ellis. To Don Ellis. Dejan, are you making plans in case things go south? Or are you planning to leave us? Stand better now. The prince asked more for a complete report on the members of the prime. Deeds, stock portfolios. More doesn't just manage the Camarillas business. It was my greatest pleasure before. Now everything tastes like ashes. Officer Baker, can I help you? Got something? I'm looking. Hell of a night. I sure wasn't expecting this when I took the call. Just tell me about it. We got the call around 2.20. The caretaker had called because a resident was injured. It took us about 20 minutes to get here. The poor guy was in a panic. He told us he'd seen one of the tenants, Jason Moore, enter the building and he looked hurt. He was being held up by his two bodyguards and he was bleeding a lot. Did he see the wound? Yeah, he said the victim was holding his right hip. So I went upstairs with the caretaker. We saw blood in the elevator and on the landing. I rang the doorbell, but nobody answered, so the caretaker opened the door. I identified myself. There were traces of blood leading down the hall away from the entrance, and just after that, I uh, found the decapitated body. Then what did you do? I called for backup. They told me that forensics would get here as soon as they could. They were out at another case. That was their top priority. After that? I secured the entrance to the apartment. After that, I searched the ground floor. There was nobody around. But from the looks of things, somebody searched the apartment. When Sergeant Lehane got here, she took care of upstairs. It's a good thing, too, because it took everyone else another 15 minutes to get here. She didn't find anyone there. So there's no sign of the family, then? Nothing. The place is empty. If you remember anything else, let me know. Of course.
Have you found anything? I'm going through the financial records. Moore managed the accounts for a lot of big names in Boston. Here, take a look for yourself. Are you Lahane? Yes, sir. Agent Smith, was it? Yes. You were the first person to respond to Baker's call? That's correct, sir. You got here well before your colleagues, didn't you? Oh, that. Yes. I was on patrol in the neighborhood while they had been called away on another case. Hmm. All right. Anything worth noting? Honestly, I don't know. It's not my field. We'll have to take it to the Financial Crimes Unit to see what they make of it. Get in touch if you find something. All right. Drafting table. Hmm. That must be Lydia's desk. June in Costa Rica. My sire always said that at a prince's court, like in a game of chess, you must know when to sacrifice your pawns. I've never been in this part of the apartment before. change. Someone tossed a bunch of stuff in this bag in a hurry to leave. The concept of a laundry basket seems too abstract for some people. Bottle of disinfectant, obviously handled by someone who was bleeding. It must have been used to dress a wound. Poems in Lydia's mother tongue.
Hilda's planned for everything, even her eventual end. We're not going to get a return on our investment anytime soon. A thank you letter from Fortress Security. After the installation of a system for more, maybe he kept it for reference. I've got what I need. Let's go back to the prince. Okay. 